Here we have a lovely 2007 BMW Z4 SE convertible in silver. It's a lovely looking car with good mileage as well, as you'll see later on in the video. Starting with the offside from the tyre first. Now taking a good look at the tread depth on the tyre, you're looking at easily a good 5mm of tread there. Looking at the alloys, now you do get the M Sport alloys. Um, slight bit of paint bubbling around the alloy, it's just corrosion really um, from the edge of the vehicle. Um, so again, a little bit of paint peel, a little bit of bubbling around this section here. No sign of any curbing or any scuff marks at all to the alloy though. Um, looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look. Um, again, there's one very light dink on the driver's door. Again, it's that light, probably won't even um, bother doing anything about it really. Um, so again, it is very light dink. No signs of any dents at all down the body though. Around the offside front arch, lovely condition, no signs of any rust. Um, it is the 2 litre petrol as you can see, paint wheel looks very clean, um, very good for its age. Looking at your driver's mirror, again there's no marks at all to that. Driver's door again looks very clean indeed, lovely condition. Uh, there's a bit of a scratch underneath here, again it's a bit deep, I can get my nail into it, so that might just need a bit of paint. Apart from that, the door edge, just one or two very minor little chips down there. Uh, moving towards the rear arch, again no sign of any uh, rust at all. There is some scratches going down at the arch here, as you can see, but again, they're very light, so we should have no issue at all mopping those out. Rear arch and rear quarter is all looking very well. Rear tyre, um, obviously can't check the centre there, a little bit difficult, but there's loads of tread on this, easily a good 5 to 6 mil. And looking at the rear alloy, again, it's just a bit of paint bubbling, a bit of paint peel around the alloy, as you can see. Um, again, it's just corrosion. Um, something that happens quite commonly with these alloys. Um, no sign of any curbing or scuff marks at all there either. And then moving towards the rear end of the car. Again, it's a perfect car for a day like today. Really hot and sunny. Rear parking sensors on the vehicle, so again, that's a nice feature. Rear bumper, there's no signs of any damage whatsoever there. Um, a couple of scratches on the back here. So as you can see, um, again, they should be able to mop out. They're not very heavy, really. Um, so again, just a couple of light scratches, that's all it really consists of, but lovely condition. Now take a look inside the boot, if you open it up off the key. There we go, works off the key fine. It's quite a good, reasonably sized boot um, for such a small car. But as you can see, it's in a lovely, clean, tidy condition. Uh, no spare wheel at all, as you can see, you've got your battery and uh, your tool pack down there. As you can see on top of the boot, there's no signs of any dinks, dents or any damage. Uh, rear quarter on the near side is fine, near side rear arch again, no signs of any rust, very tidy. And the near side rear tyre, easily a good 5 to 6 mil of tread there. Looking at the near side rear alloy, as you can see, the alloy again just starting to pit, uh, paint starting to peel and bubble. So again, it just needs a bit of a refurb. There's no curbing or any scuff marks, it's not as if they haven't been taken care of, it's just age related. And looking down the near side, no sign of any dinks or dent at all down that side. Again, it's a lovely looking car for its age. The door edge is very clean. Looking around here, again, there's just the odd one or two light scratches to the door. The mirror is in immaculate condition. All the front arch is clean. No signs of any rust, etc. And the front tyre, easily good 5 mils. So there's plenty of tread on all four tyres. And then looking at the front alloy on the near side, again, just a bit of paint bubbling around the alloy and a bit of paint peel. But again, no sign of any curbing or scuffs. We've run to the front end of the vehicle. A little bit of a nick there, looks like it's had a bit of paint to it. Uh, only stands out because it's sunny, really. A couple of little chips down at the bottom here. This is going to require a bit of paint. As you can see, it's had the bottom lip of the front bumper wrapped in a carbon fibre effect. Looks quite nice, actually. And it has been done uh, quite professionally. Uh, there's no sign of any of it coming off or any bubbles etc so it actually does look quite good uh, apart from that there's barely any sign of any stone chips to the front and then there's just a bit of a deep scratch on the near side front quarter as you can see it's just took the paint off a bit so just a bit of paint on this uh, front bumper here but apart from that the bonnet is immaculate uh, there's just one or two stone chips but very clean indeed now taking a look at the interior Obviously it is a cloth roof, um, no signs of any damage at all to the cloth, um, so again that's a nice condition. As you can see with the full black leather seats, the bolsters, etc. are immaculate. The driver's seat looks very clean indeed, it's definitely been taken care of this car. Front passenger seat again is immaculate, 
As you can see, the leather looks very nice with white stitching as well. All the carpets, dashboard, door panels are all immaculate. You've got a nice brushed fi uh, steel finish. As you can see, there's no scratches, marks, gear sticks in good condition. Steering wheel's looking very well for its age as well. But as you can see, it's just a lovely looking car all round. Stepping inside the vehicle itself. Now, we do only have the one key with the vehicle, so it is just the one key. And looking at the dash as we start the vehicle up. As you can see, no issue at all starting the vehicle. 63,001 miles, so it's just on 63,000 miles. There's no symbols appearing on the dash at all, so no worries at all there. Again, I've took the car up and down the road and it runs like a dream. Lovely, sporty car. Uh, Multifunction steering wheel there. Again, like I said, it's in lovely condition. Your CD and radio. No issues at all there. No problems with the blowers. Your air conditioning there. Comes out nice and cold. So again, it's all working exactly how it should. And if we just quickly pop the roof up just to, to show you that it does work perfectly fine. It is a very quick process in the Z4. And there we go, that's done. Windows will come up just to say it's completed. And there we go, it's as simple as that. Lovely and fast, uh, and no issues at all. Looking at the V5, now the vehicle has had four owners, believe it or not. So, four owners who have really taken care of the car. MOT certificate, September 19th, 2016. So it's just had an MOT by the looks of things, which is even better. So it really is ticking all the boxes so far, guys. And then Services Street, now it is full Services Street, but it is non-franchise. But uh, again, it is full service history. So 17, we've got 40, 57, 60, 62. And that was your last service done very recently at 62,753 on, on the 26th of August. So you can see it's just had a service. So you won't have to worry about servicing the car either. There we go. Another uh, bonus to this vehicle. That is the 2007 BMW Z4. Uh, full service history, MOT till late next year. The car is immaculate, lovely, clean condition for its age, and it really is a stunning little car.